Hi, today is Tuesday, April 11th, 2023. Uh, I had a rough day at work. Uh, it's not that someone pushed me uh, hard. It's just that I felt like I was neglected. I was ostracized a bit or I was not uh, someone important. I was just nobody. So it gave me a feeling of being pushed aside. Uh, but that's the way it is. And uh, that feeling arises when you focus on outside, not on yourself. So we constantly uh, hope for uh, outside approval. Uh, we want to curry a favor with someone else. In return, we wish to uh, have some kind of uh, quid pro quo from that person. So it's more like uh, you scratch my back and I scratch yours. But when that happens, when that does not happen, then we feel uh, down, we feel neglected, and we try to have more outside approval, and we work very hard, we curry favor with the highly mighty people, we go out on a limb to make someone uh, happy or happier, and then uh, we would fall into the cracks and uh, we would be more uh, ostracized, we would be more neglected and the cycle, uh, the cyclical, uh, vicious cycle will repeat itself. Uh, speaking of cycle, I think motors uh, have a lot of cycles like RPMs, high RPMs and I just Save this article just uh, after reading the title only. A 17-year-old engineer's magnet-free motor prototype could make electric vehicles more sustainable. Usually, uh, motors have a lot of cycles, and the, the cycles are enabled because of magnets. And if there are no magnets and also coils in the motor, then... Nothing will move because it's uh, according to it's based on the Faraday's law, and we cannot uh, make that happen on Earth without that without conforming to that law. So uh, this article is quite an uh, interesting article because it it just uh, negates that uh, clause. So let's find out what it is, uh, what it is all about, and I'm trying to read this article to practice English by reading it loud. Uh, while I am reading the material, I I usually try to focus on the pronunciation, correct pronunciations. Uh, I also try to pick up words and expressions that I might use in my later days uh, to practice, I mean, to interact with the foreigners. And also, you know, as an English learner, I will, I'm just curious about the expressions. And that's all. A curiosity gets the life. Uh, but nonetheless, I would like to... Uh, continue to read this article to stay on the par with the people around the world. So here we go. This article is from interestingengineering.com. The title is A 17-year-old engineer's magnet-free motor prototype could make electric vehicles more sustainable. His new prototype had 39% greater torque over a traditional motor, really. By Chris Young, January 1st, 1970? What the heck? It's uh, 
more than 53 years old article now, three minute read. Or a young engineer called Robert Sanson won the first prize and winnings of $75,000 at this year's Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair, ISEF, the world's largest international high school STEM competition. As per Smithsonian Magazine, his new invention could one day transform the electric vehicle EV industry. What is going on? It is a synchronous reluctance motor with improved performance over previous models. Typically, these types of motors are used for pumps and fans, but they aren't powerful enough for EVs. Samsung's new model improves the torque of these motors, which don't require costly and often unethically sourced rare earth metals. Unethically sourced, hmm, interesting. Rare earth metals. A promising young engineer, Samsung, who is only 17 years old, estimates he has completed approximately 60 engineering projects in his spare time. The Florida-based inventor has built an Imatronic hands a 70 miles per hour go-kart, really, and high-speed running boots, among several other innovations. Roughly two years ago, Samson came across a video explaining the advantages and disadvantages of electric cars. The video described how EV motors typically use rare earth metals, which are expensive and often sourced in a way that is bad for the environment. The high schooler set out to improve on existing models of the synchronous reluctance motor as it doesn't require rare earth metals. Over the course of a year, he created a prototype for a new type of synchronous reluctance motor that has greater torque and efficiency than existing models. The prototype was made of three printed plastic copper wires and a steel rotor. The work on his, this prototype, which was tested using a laser tachometer to determine torque, bagged Samsung the top prize at ISEF. The George D. Yanko Polo's Innovator Award bagged Samsung the top prize at ASEF. Hmm, I think I've encountered this expression only once in my past uh, years, but I'm still clueless about uh, the exact meaning of bagged. I I only can. I can only assume that bagged here means secured in the bags. When your book is in your bag, then the book is secured, right? It's stored in the bag securely. Rethinking the synchronous reluctance motor. Large firms, including BMW and MAHLE, are developing magnet-free motors for the same reasons as Samsung, namely the production of regular magnet motors is a stain on the EV industry, which is otherwise geared towards sustainability, a stain on the EV industry. Hmm. The vast majority of the rare earth metals required are mined in China, meaning 
The Western EV industry is currently highly reliant on their imports. BMW's fifth-generation electric motor, which will power its new BMW iX M60, is magnet-free and doesn't use rare earth metals. BMW announced that the standard combined output of the front and rear motor of its new iX M60 will be 533 HP horsepower and 749 pound foot of torque. Auto parts manufacturer Mahali, meanwhile, also realized its own magnet free electric motor that does not require rare earth elements. That motor uses a special design to generate torque via complex power transmission, which makes it ear wear free and also highly efficient at high speeds. Samson's motor uses a different type of design. Synchronous reluctance motors use a steel rotor with air gaps cut into it. Synchronous reluctance motors use a steel rotor with air gaps cut into it. Aligned with a ro rotating magnetic field, the motor generates a magnetic field using magnetic reluctance. Samson tweaked the typical synchronous reluctance motor design by removing the air gaps to incorporate another magnetic field by adding more materials. Unfortunately, he hasn't yet disclosed any more information as he is hoping to patent his design. Sanson, Sanson's motor uses a different type of design. Synchronous reluctance motors use a steel rotor with air gaps cut into it, aligned with a rotating magnetic field. Really? Sanson says it took him 15 attempts to make a prototype that worked. After running, after running, running, after running some tests, he found that the novel design exhibited 39% greater torque and 31% greater efficiency at 300 revolutions per minute RPM than a traditional synchronous reluctance motor he used for comparison. At 750 RPM, it showed 37% greater efficiency. Sanson couldn't test his motor at a higher RPM due to the fact that the plastic prototype would melt. Now that he's gained acclaim and attention for his design, he will hopefully be able to run tests on a fully functional motor prototype using more sturdy materials. We'll be sure to bring you updates if and when he does. So standard motor stator, uh, metal stator, rare earth materials, rare earth elements, unethically sourced rare earth materials that is environmentally bad, that is bad to the environment. Uh, torque, found foot, 39%, uh, 37% more efficient. Uh, magnet free magnet field aligned air gaps cut into it that are cut into it aurora speed melt plastic prototype uh he's waiting for his patent he's patenting his invention his design 
So nothing much except that uh, some strange expressions, such as I don't know, I feel uh, dead in my brain. So uh, I will just cut it short here and go to bed. But real motor, uh, there are some other expressions like a horsepower HP. Uh, rare earth elements, rare earth material. That's a quite generic expression. Power transmission, high efficient, highly efficient at high speeds. Vast majority of the rare earth metals required are mined in China. The vast majority, the vast majority. Synchronous reluctance motor. Uh, what else? Well, that's it. I feel like a tired now. I have to go to bed now. Thanks for listening and see you tomorrow.